ibintu byinshi mubona nta handi bikomoka ibintu byiza byinshi bikomoka mu kumenya most good things come from knowledge or knowing where you do not have uh, knowledge, you do not, uh, you are ignorant. And the source of beauty or glory is wisdom. Uh, life is revived. Uh, souls of people who have joined themselves to God. Yes, you are getting it on each curibo. God gave a lot of examples on them. Now, go to the Kugang on Vuge Ishaka Dukwe Gutera and Tuevgavater and Yan. Uh, I'm standing so that I can talk about the encouragement we should give each other as who fellowship today. Let me start by thanking God. Uh, I thank God for the leaders of this church that thought about us and invited us to come and fellowship together uh, with the people of this church. Uh, I remember the voice of joy and rejoicing when they were inviting us to come and uh, fellowship together. Uh, when you guys had uh, um, some situation here, I, I had a chance to meet with uh, your leader or your pastor, and he told me I'm uh, traveling, but I will be right back. Uh, we thank God that protected you in your journey and you're here today. There's beauty that I saw in this church. Uh, every time they sing, and I hear the glory of God that is in their hearts and is putting determination on the, on the word. Uh, when the leading pastor was uh, welcoming the church yesterday, I remember the word that he said. And it, uh, it made me curious on the theme of this uh, uh, concert. Uh, he said that we are fellowshipping together so that we can thank God for what we have, it has been done for us. Uh, if it was possible that every day people will have a party or celebration for salvation. Uh, the, there was about there will be a budget so that people can invite different people from different parts so that we can sing of the grace that is unmerited that we have we have received uh, for, for truly truly I found that what made us meet here is that we may thank God for what has been done for us I feel like I have a lot of thanksgiving in my heart uh, I thank God for being with the doctor from Nairobi and his wife uh, I thank God for being with people who came from different states. I thank uh, the youth, Michelle, who came from Arizona. 
mufite umugisha kumubona ah and this young man you are blessed to to to, uh, to be able to be with him nungo abone kabantu kabatanu even if there will be five people ariko bari mu michel that michel is involved or is there as well uzugira ngo nabantu buzi urusenge you always think this full uh, the church is full imana amuhaye gucuranga aza curanga je nkaba numva uh, every time he plays keyboard i feel like i am resting uh, he doesn't know if it, it's in his blood where do you feel rested sometimes ndashimira umugabo wubaha imana revera bosco uh, I thank God for Reverend Bosco. Uh, I thank God that he came with Musirimu and they arrived safe. I thank God for the, uh, jo the joy of God that you have. Let's fellowship together. Uh, praise God. It is encouraging each other in whatever we do. Uh, after I read, those who have um, who lost their loved ones, I will say one thing. Let's open our Bibles. Let's read in the book of Hebrew. Uh, I am uh, blessed that we have fellowship with the do with doctor. I will come to ask him who wrote this book. Uh, when people are blessed to fellowship, it's a time to... Uh, uh, Hebrew chapter 10, verse 24. tuje Hebrew chapter 10 verse 24. And let us take thought of how to spark one another on the love and good works. Amen. I read Kandi tuje tuzirikana ubwacu kugira ngo duterane ishaka ryo gukundana n'igimirimo myiza And let us take thought of how to spark one another on to love and good works amen Nishimiye kandi kongera kubana na Elian I thank God to be here with me Twari kumwe uh, we were together in Arizona. And uh, she, she does good work and he, she's encouraged in good, good work. Uh, I'm going to say a word to our friends who lost their loved ones. There are so many who went to the funeral for John, at John, John Rugabo's funeral. Uh, 
uh, to be on a good day or, or a good celebration for the one who uh, honors God, it is of courage. Uh, being related to Rugabo is uh, a pride, a, a thing to be proud of. And people to come to visit you when God has called Rugabo, it is also a pride, something to be pride, proud of. Uh, he loved God and he acknowledged the work that God did and he all, it was all over him. Uh, when one has received Christ, do not die. He only goes to sleep. It is a journey for all. Even though he's not wearing his physical body, he's still alive. When it was around uh, morning, Madame wa Bishop, wa Bishop. Uh, Bishop's wife, Papa, I Muhanda, moto iramugongara. When the, uh, that was trying to um, cross the road, the motorcycle hit him and he passed away. Uh, and those kind of people that you live together uh, I remember his joy and I remember how he loved God uh, be of courage the reason the one thing I thought about is one when a person dies what just happened uh, speak to, uh, to the Bible so that converse with the Bible so that it can give you courage because it has shocked me. Uh, Paul in Romans 14 verse 9 he said a, a word of courage. He said if we are alive or if we live uh, the singer of him said the joy of life it is bigger on, for us this true uh, this way that is true uh, it has it, 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 it causes you to lift your hands up if it's possible, you can jump up. He's the true way. If we, we leave, uh, we are of Christ or the King. And if we die, we are also of, of the King. Uh, as living and as being moved, we were created for God. Uh, you are alive in the time that he has uh, seen just. And when he calls you, nobody can say no. Uh, we thank you, parent, for being courageous even in, on this day of disastrous. Uh, you, you gave me joy the time we were speaking when we were talking. Men are important people in the house. Uh, when he had the news, he was encouraging and comforting uh, the wife. But he, when a voice of a man is spoken in the house, there's comfort or consolation. Uh, remember that we are of God all the time that we, we are alive in the world. Uh, let, let's speak of the way of encouraging each other. Uh, praise God.
Uh, when people have encouraged each other in their lives, uh, they became a good nation. Even in this normal, regular life. I will pinpoint to people who are educated, example, uh, our the doctor. Uh, a family of people who are educated. Uh, apart from the other kids who, who wouldn't like to go to school, uh, that person encourages their kids and tells them, do, do you see how I'm living well? It's because I went to school. And, and people encourage each other and it works and it happens. Even in prayers. Even if we want to build a certain work or job. Even if we want to achieve certain thing in the government, in society, or in at home. Uh, encouragement is important. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, him a question. Uh, he said one thing, and it's also the grace, and it's also salvation, and it is the gift that your soul receives and is revived, and the soul that has not yet received that gift, it only has a life that is blind, and I will tell you about it. One is no longer blinded when he only receives this type of encouragement. Uh, let uh, all of us encourage each other in loving each other. Uh, why is he saying to encourage each other? The world and the devil and those who do not understand God well they are bringing things that are covering love and they bring things that separate or different and they bring things that cause no peace and these kind of people God used to point them if you read chapter 6 on uh, verse 12, uh, most good things come from knowledge or knowing. Where you do not have uh, knowledge, you do not, uh, you are ignorant. And the source of beauty or glory is wisdom. Uh, where your, where your uh, wisdom or uh, where you are ignorant, God do not know how to protect you there. I was reading in the book of Proverbs. Uh, and uh, chapter 20, verse 12, that's what, how it says. Uh, the, be the, uh, the beautiful eyes of God that knows how to look. Uh, uh, he only protects the uh, city or the part where you stand in wisdom. And all those spaces where you stand in wisdom, not ignorant, God protects them. Uh, when you uh, refuse to stay in wisdom and you go away to the opposite side of ignorance, uh, he destroys all the things of people who love to quarrel. Let, uh, come here that we can encourage each other in love. In Proverbs chapter Chapter 6, verse 12. 
Uh, there's a word there. I always think if we have a nation that honors God, all our days can become laughter. Uh, a person who causes a separation between each other or other people uh, let me read that part so that you yourself you will know who it is because they are revealed it is one of the things that God hates uh, you find those kind of people who cause separation. You find them in your city or in your town. Uh, these are the people you should, uh, fa you should, you should, they should, you face your back toward them. Uh, come, in, let, let us encourage each other in love. Uh, why? Uh, what you are fixing your eyes on, uh, it rules your identity. If you read First John, on uh, chapter three, uh, the Bible say, fix your eyes on the love that Christ loved us. Uh, fix your eyes on it. Uh, focus on it. Uh, think about it. Uh, converse about that love. Uh, it it causes you to lose your father's and mother's identity. And you became a child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it is important for the children of God so that Michelle to play keyboard so we can all dance because we have come from a bad place. Uh, when someone has the news that they became a child of God, it is important that I dance with courage. Uh, when Paul was teaching the grace that was revealed, uh, he spoke of the word of encouragement. Uh, in the book of Titus, uh, chapter 2.14, Uh, Titus chapter 2 verse 14. Uh, he got the place. What key tangiri kugirango aduchungure mubugome goes? Kandi. He gave himself for us to set us free from every kind of lawlessness and to purify from, for himself a people who are truly his, who are eager to do good. Amen. Amen. Uh, when one has the spirit of glory has entered them uh, he's, uh, you feel like you became the light and what is done by the light uh, one loves that to stand a place where it's bright so they can speak of it so that the people who are nearby can hear about it uh, 
Uh, I've seen people who hate speaking of their own secrets in, in a public place. Even their works, they don't do it in a public place. It's someone who's doing things that are not good or appealing. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, when you uh, look a little bit and you see people are doing things that are not appealing, uh, they hate light. Do not uh, use the torch to light on them. They can stone you. Uh, when people are doing things that are not appealing or not good, they like to stay in the dark. Light, uh, the light in your face, uh, which one is the light in your face? It is love. Amen. Amen. Uh, on this chapter, verse 7, the Bible says, show yourself as a good example of good works. Hallelujah. The Bible says this word. What God wants or desires uh, in the book of John 6, 40, what God desires it is if a person fix their eyes on the child of God, believe in him, and I will uh, revive them. Uh, your life is where your eyes are fixed at. Uh, when you fix your eyes on Christ, you're fixing your eyes on the light. Uh, on chapter, uh, John chapter 8, uh, verse 14, yes, verse 17, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Jesus said, uh, I said, while I am still in the world, I'm the light of the world. Uh, and he said, if you follow me, you may not encounter darkness. Because within you there's light of life. Let me tell you what the light of life does. Uh, the light of life makes you do things for the benefit of others. Uh, when we were at Bishop House, we were worshiping God. And the parents who were in the kitchen did good work. Uh, they were preparing and they put the food on the table for us. And we started worshiping. No, <laughs> no. Uh, that is worship. Uh, and, uh, even the folks worships. And uh, Corinthians 10:32. Thirty one, yeah. Uh, that's what he said. Uh, he said, Whatever that you do, do it for the glory of God or to worship God. Uh, it only is in the mind that is filled with Christ. Even, even your chewing, it causes God to be glorified. Even the way we were getting food and putting on our plate and telling the person sit on the other side, it was worship. 
On the same chapter on 1 Corinthians on 33. Uh, and he said that I never done anything for my own benefit. I was doing it so that all can be saved. Let our intention be a good courage that is good. Let us teach others in love and good works. And good works, good works is loved by most. And it is also the language of the spirit. Even if one do not like or love to do good, if one do not like to do good but you do good toward them they do not get mad about it even one hates others but you love them and he receive it he cannot deny it uh, the language of the Holy Spirit it is good toward everybody when you are washed and you have become his nation if you have become his nation uh, encouragement is one let us uh, use encouragement in good works hallelujah hallelujah uh, this happens because uh, we learned it from our father who birthed us in the wisdom of the spirit there's people who love each other there's people who do good works toward each other I remember when uh, our friend was uh, conversing with us uh, he said that when we speak or we converse like we are all by ourselves all together and I hear that you have, spirit, you have spread the word and other people are hearing the word uh, when you have spilled my secrets to others, it, it discourages me. When people are filled with love, I'm going to finish with three, four words. When one is filled with love, he never thinks of evil toward others. Uh, love came to remove sins. When you see the love, you only see beauty and glory in others. Even those who are still in the dark. And you remember that when this light shone upon them, even for me it is grace you know that he will worship when this uh, beauty or glory come toward them uh, not doing good works uh, it is, not doing good works not being kind it is uh, manifesting that you do not know uh, the thing that I do not know can we fight or battle over it uh, I'm asking you for help you that knows better help me come let encourage each other to do good works yes 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 uh, Jesus came to teach us to walk in love when you love your neighbor do good toward them is patient toward them uh, families or marriage be patient with each other 
you uh, choirs uh, live with harmony with each other here is the light that shines and the people in this world are waiting for this light uh, may your light shine let me shout to uh, hallelujah and Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shake your hands a little bit more. Everything you do filled with love. Our Father uses it for good works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, be encouraged with love. May God bless you.